All right, so today we're gonna work on reading like a detective. Do you know how to read like a detective? So before we even dive into how to read like a detective, let's go ahead and see what exactly is a detective. So I pulled this out of a cute friendly Merriam-Webster dictionary. And here is a child-friendly definition of detective. There are actually two definitions here. So the first one says a detective is a police officer who investigates crimes and catches criminals. And then the second definition is a person whose job is to find information about someone or something. So we're going to focus on the second definition right here. All right. This definition right here, a person whose job is to find and some information about someone or something. So as reading detectives, we're going to find out information about either someone we're reading about or something we're reading about. So we're going to watch a video, The Case of the Broken Face. And as you watch this video, I want you to take note of two things. The first one, how Evan is asking the right questions, so the kind of questions he's asking, and then the clues that he's using to solve mystery, all right? So two things, uh, the questions he's asking, and the clues that he's using to solve the mysteries. What's your favorite browser extension? Uh, online shopping is. There was a day, just like any other day, until a dame walked into my door. A dame by the name of Mom. Evan, come look at this. Uh oh. Do you know who did this? Don't worry, Mom. I'll find the criminal that did this. There are clues everywhere. Whoever had done this had made a mess. The clues told me a story only I could read. It was time to start asking questions. Oh, Evan. And then we both know what's going on. Why do you have my shoe? I found it overturned at the crime scene. And you're the only one in the house with big feet. I do have big feet. And inside your shoe, I found this. Fine. I was practicing my dance moves. I didn't want anyone to know, and I had taken off my shoes so I could practice my moonwalk. Then I heard a weird noise, like someone approaching. I got scared and ran out of the room, leaving my shoes there. So you caught me. I was dancing, but I didn't break that face. It turns out Daddy T was only guilty of busting a move. So it was on to the second clue. I know it was you, Julian. I found the broken carrot. So what? It could have been anyone's carrot. Don't lie to me. You've been caught orange-handed. Admit you broke the vase. Fine, it was my carrot, but I didn't break the vase. I was practicing for the annual carrot eating contest. That's when I heard a strange sound, like someone approaching. I ran through the living room and must have dropped a carrot. But it was in one piece when I left it, so I'm guilty of nothing but a big appetite. So it wasn't the little sister. That left only three choices. Mommy soup, me, or my invisible. So notice how he has clues and he's checking out every single clue and he's paying attention. He's asking questions. He's being observant as well friend Wallace. But Wallace has been on vacation in Hawaii, so it couldn't have been him. All right, Evan, did you do it? No. Good enough for me. That left only one person, the dame who started it all, Mommy Tube. What am I doing here? I found the broken base. Which made it the perfect crime. Let me explain what happened. When you came to see me, you were limping like you had just fallen. I think you were practicing your skateboarding in the house. You went into the living room, tripped over Dad's shoe, slept on Jillian's carrot, and then knocked the vase off the shelf where it smashed into the floor. Fine, it was me. I did it. I broke the vase trying to be a great skateboarder. But you know what? I'm allowed to break things and skateboard in the house. I'm a grown-up. Mom, you're grounded. Sorry, Jillian. 
Good job, Evan. No problem, Dad. And that's the story of the case of the broken vase. Was he talking to himself? So notice how Julian, I mean, excuse me, how even was asking the right questions, how he noticed clues, how he used those clues to solve the mystery and found out who broke the vase. So we're going to practice being detectives. This time we're applying our detective skills, um, using it to, I mean, we're applying that to our reading skills. All right. And so we're going to do this on our read like a detective jam board. And on our jam board, where we are right now. There it is. All right, so here's our read like detective jam board. And what we're gonna do here is we're focusing on clues to help us discover or help us figure out what we're being asked to do. The directions here is for us to identify the professions of each of these people. And what we're gonna do is either underline or highlight the clues that helped us to make an inference. So this is Monday, and here is um, a sticky note telling us what to do. We're gonna highlight the clues that help us figure out the professions, and we're gonna type the name of the professions here. This Jamboard has not been shared with you yet, but here are the different groups. And so each group is gonna work on their own slide. With a Jamboard, um, there are different features. We've got the pen, which houses a highlighter, a pen, a marker, highlighter, or a brush. And they come in five different colors. So you can either do yellow, red, green, blue, or black. All right, here is an eraser. So if I wanna write something down, I can write it down and I can grab the eraser and clean it out, okay? or I can just click on undo. All right, here's a pointer, which is what I'm using right now. This is where I got my sticky notes from. And so that's a sticky note. I can use this sticky note to write, type, whatever it is I wanna type here. If I save it, it shows up on here. That's the sticky note if I don't want it anymore. I can either edit, duplicate, which means make a second copy, or I can go ahead and delete the sticky note. Also, um, here is for adding images, just like we do with Google Slides, I can upload an image in here. And then there are circles here, so I can go ahead and add a circle or different shapes to my slide. And I'm gonna undo that because I don't want it. And then a text box, if I don't wanna write, I can use a text box and I can type, and say here, and it's right there. And I can still take it out if I don't want, or edit, or duplicate. Duplicate means make a second copy. I'm gonna do that. And here is my laser. My laser helps me focus on what I'm talking about. It doesn't stay, see that? I can focus on what I'm talking about. And the reason I'm showing you how to use the Jamboard is because in a moment you're gonna use that as well. All right, so reading like detectives. So we're gonna identify the professions of each of these people and then we're gonna underline or highlight words in here, the clues that help us figure it out. So I'm gonna start with the first one. Mr. Fernandez walked into the room, picked up some chalk, began to write on the chalkboard. A bell rang and the children the children filed in. So Mr. Fernandez is a, I'm looking at my clues, because I wanna go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna highlight in yellow. So he picked up some chalk right here. He began to write on the chalkboard. 
bell rang, where else would I hear a bell ring? And where would I find chalk? And then their children, children filed in. So he has chalk. He's writing on the chalkboard. And then there are children there and the bell rang. So he is probably a teacher. All right, Mr. Fernandez is probably a teacher. So I'm gonna write here, teacher or type. All right. So notice what I did. I used my detective skills and applied that with my reading. All right, I'm looking for clues. When I'm reading, I wanna read like a detective. Detectives use clues. All right, so I use the clues in the words right here. For number one, I stuck to number one because that's what I was looking for. And I use the clues right there to guide me. All right, so I noticed that I didn't just write whatever in here. I know that usually teachers would write on a board. Sometimes they use a marker if they don't have a, if they have a whiteboard or like what I'm doing right here, I'm using a jam board. And so I'm using this to teach. Um, but in this case, Mr. Fernandez is using a chalkboard. With a chalkboard, you write with chalk and then a bell rang, which meant it was either time for class to start or time for class to end. And then there were children there as well. All right, so that's how we read like detectives. We use our clues to help us figure out things and then we're able to find out and understand our reading. All right, so as a class, I'm gonna share our Jamboard so that way we can work on the other slides. Remember slide one is the one that I worked on. Slide two is gonna be for Malik, Grover, Ariel and Ariana. Slide three, we have Anthony Jameer, Brittany and Miguel. Slide four, Samantha Armani, Kenya, Candice and Cameron. Slide five, Joseph, David and James. All right, and your job is to read like detectives, to use clues to help you figure out, um, to help you figure out and identify the profession, all right? So I'm gonna stop sharing at this time and end our recording. Does anybody have any questions? Please type your questions in the chat box.